Hey there, everyone. This is the Wasaki Gamer here, aka the guy who made um, Paradox's parody channel here, which a lot of you guys have subscribed to, and also um, the guy who also made the Gamer's Collection podcast here. Or the Gamer's Collection podcast, should I say. Sorry, I'm getting my names mixed up around here. But, anyways, here though, um, recently, or it was like maybe a day or two ago back, that I made a poll on the community tab, which I'm actually surprised that a lot of you guys voted on was for right here about to make, you know, soundtrack videos. I still hate my freaking, <laughs> oh jeez, uh, my so-called um, typo right here. And this is what happens when I'm making, you know, a quick poll or a post on sometimes on my phone and well, yeah, just go figure on that anyways. But I just want to say to you guys, hey, thanks for actually participating in these polls. I really do appreciate it and everything. And later on, um, I will be announcing that we will make a FAQ videos if anyone really actually wants to ask questions like behind the scenes stuff or to get to know either me, the Osaki Gamer here or um, C or Shion Omega any better because he's also my co-collaborator um, on this channel whenever he gets the time to. Sometimes he doesn't always get to but whenever he gets the time. But anyway, so you guys have voted for it and by 88% of you guys and out of 25 votes, this time we're going to be doing a soundtrack video. Now, in this video here, you're going to be seeing me doing, making this live here, making this on real time here. And reason why I wanted to do this was, so that way you get an idea. This won't be as long as coming up with the, the initial setup, the look of everything, because that takes me a while, so probably like an hour or two just to make sure I get the look of the, you know, soundtrack videos right and everything. But beside that point there, um... A lot of you guys are wondering how I made something like, no, 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 but something like this right here, but you know, having the logos right here, to having the little box to hold like the little video right here, and the sound wave. Well, I use two different softwares to do this here, and one of them is more of a visual, uh, official uh, music maker, and I will bring that in later and show you because I do have that program that you can see and the other program I use to like make all this right here for what you're seeing for video wise it's going to be um movie studios platinum 17 and for those who may wonder um what that is did I say 17 I meant 16 my bad um uh, but for those who are wondering what you know that video editing software is um think of it as the little brother to um sony vegas that's what it really is in in a nutshell but it is a little um little brother to that but anyways so for people who really want this i hope this answers your question and that you get to see how this all works out so without further ado let's get started with this so first off what I like to do with my soundtrack videos, like how you're seeing like this right here, for people who have either played, for example, Pac-Man 2, the new Adventures game, the Genesis version, um, for people who have or have not played this game, they will see what will happen inside this game. And what I usually try to do is that whatever piece of music that you're hearing and everything, like for example, if I turn this up right here, you'll see what I'm talking about. Yeah, so for example like that there, this happens during when you're having the tutorial level happening right here. And that's what I usually try to base my games is, well, the soundtracks of when you hear this piece of music inside the game. That's usually what I just try to do and everything. And the other thing too is I like to use my own footage that I have done here. So like I have done like a playthrough of this game here without any commentary and you get to see like how when this music happens and everything else right right so what i usually do would, would be look at my footage again and we know like after this here after he gets you know goes to the tutorial and everything else and we kind of scrub through this that we have to 
go get the baby milk and go to the farm and everything, right? Right. So, in this case here, you're gonna hear a different piece of music that is like him traveling around throughout his like small little town and everything. And for those who are wondering what that, tra that track sounds like, for those who are, who care enough, it would be something like this here. I'll be quiet and let this play for a little bit and you hear what I mean. Right, and like I said, this is where he's walking around through his town and everything else. Now, there's another part of it, the town where the music changes completely, but I'm not going to be worried about, you know, that part of it or anything because that track will come in later. But you get the idea. So what I would usually do is um, get this link right up here, go to a website like YouTube to MP3, go ahead and download it, which I already have done. And what I usually do is I have a folder for me to keep all my soundtrack stuff right here and everything. And I also have like a place for all my projects right here. So like the background, the logos, the little box here. Um, I've mostly found these online mostly as a PNG file to um, this background right here. I just took a snapshot of it out of my um, video. And everything else and once i have that there you know have a download and everything then this is when we go into magic right here and just to see here just to show the website this is on magic music visuals and this is where you can make you know pretty much um like different stuff here and there and everything and no i'm not sponsored by any of these guys or anything uh, but for example you can make videos with different things going on like this, have a, like a kaleidoscope kind of visual, like you can do a lot of crazy things with this. Hell, I've seen some people who even have like a video thing going on where you can make a whole bunch of different things. But again, this is just the software that I use for all this here. I'm not going to really play any videos from them. But if you guys are very interested in this, go for it. And reason why I chose this guy right here, the magic, um, music visual was because at the time i wanted to do something like this but i couldn't afford what was it i forget what adobe um software it was but well you can make your own thing where um what was it you have like the set like the waveform form into a circle and it reacts to the beat and everything i didn't have you know I did find that software, but it was like an older one, but it ran like super slow though, like very slow. But when I heard of this and saw how this could be played, and here, just to give you an idea, cause we're not gonna watch it like all the way through it on any of these, but like for example, like this right here. Yeah, that, and that's what I was looking forward to do, like, at first. But this is what I mean. Like, you could do stuff like that or some other things. And again, I wanted to show what software that I was using. So, or I am using, so that way you guys get an idea. So, anyways, here. Now, with this here, I usually just make simple um, bars. Like, what was it? Like, the little simple, like, bar effects and everything. And I'm just opening up another project so you can see here. Mine is very, very <laughs> simple. Like, and this is like from the Practice Makes Perfect one here. But this is what it looks like before like, I try to do anything else to a new track. <laughs> yeah, you get the idea. So... I'm just saying, you know, this is what I usually do. And to save time, I would usually have one, uh, what was it? One file be like the base for everything here. So that way it looks so good and everything. Or if I think it needs to be adjusted, I could assume as the one base just to save me some time on this. But I'm going to start this completely fresh new. And that way you can see, okay? No, we're not going to save because there was no any changes here. So first... 
So the first thing I usually do is add and let's see. And again, this is real time I'm doing this here. So I go to geometry and waveform. Now you can do other things here, but for the weight for for our purpose, we're just doing the waveform right up here. And then right here, this input source and the input source right here is gonna be where you're gonna see the bar kind of jump up and down up over here. So what I do is add a file. All right, have this go where it goes through my tracks and everything. We're gonna do this, open this up. And now if you're going to play it, nothing's gonna really happen because we don't have a set for it, right? Right, so right here then is what I go to right to this here. So source right here. So this is source zero or scene zero, whatever right here. Um, If I had another scene up, you can it, this would be different but since we don't we're gonna do this and now when i play it you should see um this window up here having you know the bar and everything all right so we see that's kind of pretty much what i call a playing jane right so first off uh what i'm what gonna do is like scale this so that way um <laughs> It goes to all the way through and give me a moment because I'm trying to remember where this is all at. Go to scale and now and again, you're going to be hearing this um, music on and off a lot here, like how I ha have to when I'm doing all this. So I'm going to turn down my volume and if you guys need to, you should, guys should do that as well. But so right here, this is where I'm going to start to make all this go stretch out across the screen right here okay and i think i grab on to the x i believe it's been a while since i've done this all right so that's the first part so now our waveform is going from left to right right here and now we should add some color to it because i mean it is kind of boring now i could do something like what i have been doing with Pac-Man, it's like make this like gold right here. Or if I want to, I could make could do something like um, make this and I can do a whole bunch of different colors or different effects. But if I'm gonna be doing something like that, um, I would leave this here just to be plain white in the video editor, and then this is what I would go for right here. And I can do that, or I could do it the other way around. Again, this is like where it comes up to me being having like a creative difference so that way you can see as it is. But for now, um, what I also like to do is add some other effects in this as well. So let's say, I for me, I like having the radical blur right here that comes here, but let's see. See, because you got kaleidoscope, but I think I'm gonna do another radical blur right here. And now we look back. This is what it's gonna look like. And I'm debating whether if I want to change like the actual color of this or not, or if I'm gonna do it in the video editor. And it just depends, because again, if it's just um, unless I'm gonna be doing something like a little bit crazy, like you see right here. Like with this bar with a whole bunch of different colors going on and everything um i may or may not but i think for this one i'm gonna change like the colors and everything so they look they go from looking like this like this kind of a plain jane gold to something like having like different like tri colors or so and everything so from there this is where <clears throat> This is where I'm going to see how much time it is. And again, I may not use this whole entire track. I might use like maybe like a minute or two of it because again, I just don't know if I, if I have enough footage of him walking around or this if I really want to. But for now, I think I'm going to go ahead and start to go ahead and put this into making it white and color it in the actual... Um, sound thing as it is here in the video video editor so now i go to export movies and if this was right here like a different point right here like a minute but you're not sure how long this whole track is going to be um you just get 
get audio length and this right here will go boom just gets the whole audio track here now I just do this at 19 by 1080 for this part here and we're gonna put this right here but we're gonna say this is the actual track name and I believe that was called mischief if I remember that right yeah so I do this Put that there and from that point onward, we're gonna go ahead and hit go and then this is gonna run its own thing and everything going for right here and again I think I'm gonna leave the radical blur on this if I feel like if I need to change it I will go ahead and do so but for the time being right now um, I don't think I'm gonna make you guys wait the four minutes or so when it gets done I will come back later and that took a little bit there but anyway, so, so now that, you know, we have this here, that now, from this point onward, a lot of people may say, what well, is that? No, because now, I have this video right here, that is just going to be, um, you know, what you expect here. And this is what it looks like here. Alright, so this is what the video is and everything else. Now... This is where we're going to put everything together in this whole thing to make this work, right? Right. So first off, let me drag this window over here. This is the timeline I have for this game right here. And this is for, um, for again, for the Pac-Man stuff. Now, <laughs> this has taken me a very, very long time and everything. Because first off... To get where I want this to look good and everything, I had to adjust the logos around a lot just for it to look good and same thing for this and the video to be in here and yeah, that took a while and be glad I'm not making you guys sit through any of that because this video will be a lot longer if that was the case. But I just wanted to show you guys up close about how this looks. So now, the question that some of you guys might be wondering is, well, how do I get this right here to, to work? So, we're going to get rid of that track. And now we're going to put in our new track right here. Put this in right here. Kaboom. Now, the way how this is going to look, this is going to look a little weird because you see right here in the preview window that had, it, you know, this sound wave video has tucked up the whole screen. So, the way how I do this is going to be like this. Um, I'm just going to need to find my chroma key right here. Now, where is my chroma key? Chroma key, chroma key. Right here. So, we're going to add that for right now. And over here, get it done. We're going to go for color. Grab the guy right here. Just go for black. And ta-da! So, now that we got this here... This is what our chroma key looks like here. You know, our video and everything else. But, you know, we're not done yet. We're going to be editing this here quite a bit more. So, we're going to say no to that. Um, normally, I'm on a different monitor right here. But since I have my bandy cam like, on my one monitor right here, everything is going to look very kind of crowded. So, I do apologize for that, folks. But... I'm just showing it to you again real time with what I do. Now we got this right here. Looks good. Um, now the question is do I want to make this any smaller or do I want to make it larger? And I might make this here a little smaller so that way. Now this is what we are going to have here so far. And yes, we're going to leave that there so you can see here. But this is what we have at this moment. And I'll be quiet and let this play for a little bit while this is on the big screen. Not bad, right? Looking pretty good so far and everything else. You know, because he received traveling around, having fun, da 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 da, whatever, right? Right. 
So, and I know I keep saying that, I need to stop saying that. Now, the white here is looking very, very bland here. I mean, you guys tell me, doesn't this look kind of bland or a little out of place? Because, I mean, this is a colorful game. This isn't like a very black and white game. So now, this is where how I made for, or was it, for um, Clay Fighter, it's, you know, colors of different things for the sound bar. So I think I went to color corrector, if I remember that right. Let's see, did it add on? No, it did not. Color corrector, add, go to okay. Now, this is what I did for, to get the um, color sucking different right here. And I feel like, you know what? For this video, I'll go ahead and do this as it is. So bear with me while I try to figure out how I want to make this look and everything. Because first off, I'm going to make my saturation come up here a bit. How about what we do a little bit of blue right here. Our mids are going to be looking. Having a ten of orange. Then for the highs, there we go. Um, I'm gonna keep it right there. Maybe make this. And this is this takes me a while to figure out what I really want it as or whatnot because, again, I can make this you know. Any way I want, but I'm just showing you guys what I go through just to make this. And again, it's not the hardest thing, but it can be the most time consuming of it all. Mm, I think I'm gonna leave it right there. All right, now keep in mind from our video what we saw on the Clay Fighter one right here that, and that was my phone that went off. It's not gonna look exactly like this down here because we have that radical blur. And everything um the radical blur is gonna look a little bit more something like no no shut shut up me i'm try trying to do my thing yo anyways um so our thing is gonna look something like this right here like compared like to this video right here of how Come on, get right in here. Like, you see how this blur effect is looking like this? This is what our final video is going to end up looking just like this here. So, back here. Now, if we were going to play this, this is what it's going to look like. But you get the idea. So this is what it looks like and everything else. Now, I already have this preset where I would have to mess with the footage on the inside window. And I'm not going to be doing that because I already have this as it is. And I didn't want to make this totally foam scratch because we'll probably be here for like a half an hour. And I don't plan to waste you guys' time like that. So what I like to do here from this point onward is that... I like to see him be outside because you don't hear the music when you're in Lucy's house right over here. And for those who can't see that dinky ass thing, I'm talking about this right here. You don't see, you don't hear that music when you're in here because you hear a totally different music for this and everything else. So what I have to do now is kind of go through this a bit. I'll go right, 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 right here. Then I'm gonna go ahead, do this, and split this up. And have him pass all of this, etc., etc. Right. So he's back outside, and I'm gonna rewind this back a bit. Keep it going like this. And let's see. And about right there. So now, what I do for this here, go like this. I will fade in. So now we're gonna have something like this. And 
that fade in a little bit too much. So let's try this right here. And one more time with the full screen. So, so far, we have this going where we need it to go right now, and everything in. Control C, that. Yeah. So, from this point onward, we're gonna, I'm gonna keep scrubbing through this, see him walk around town some more. And the park is gonna have a different sound, like, sound piece here. So, what I got, what well, I probably might end up doing in some of this here. It's either cutting this out or I may leave this inside, but if I do, it's just going to be um, not accurate. So I like to be accurate with this. That's the problem with me here. He's not, you don't hear this music when you're in this part of the city or anything. Dun, 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 dun. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And another fade in we're going to do right here. And we're gonna see when I exit over here. All right. So back to this. Have this happen right here. All right. So far, so far, looking good. And again, I'm doing this in real time so that way you guys can see what I should go through to do this and everything. And again, this could take a lot longer if I didn't have all this preset. So from this point onward here, um, I see him. He's about to go back into the house here. And then I think this is a perfect time for me to have this go fading out. So now, because I am not using the whole entire track of this here and everything, I'm going to go about, uh, give it a little bit more opening. And for each one, I'm going to get this into a fade to where it needs to be and cut down on this whole entire group and go from here. And same thing for Genesis. So right now here, if I was to watch all of this as you've seen right here and everything else, and again, I might change this here. In fact, I actually might as well change this up right, right here real quick. Put my color thing over here, have full screen. There we go. Give it something a little bit more different, because why not? All right, so pretty much from this point onward here, I would just have to double check myself. And also, can't forget to give the fade into the actual game footage right here. And now, when I go to head and start to preview all this. <laughs> now pretty much i have it where this is all complete the soundtrack looks pretty good right now i don't have nothing else to worry about when it comes to any of this because now that you see here i did whatever i need to for the footage here and everything else now again i could have really gone more into like what's the word i want to say more into detail about how i do all this but this is just me just showing you how quickly, like the quick version of this, of how I do this. Because if I was uh, to be here right now for a while, <laughs> um, let's just say I would tell you, I would just tell you how I got this background right here to be all blurred out. So 
I always wonder how people always have foot video on top while you have the blur background and everything. Um, they did that with video with video for me. I just needed to do the background, so I went ahead and just got the snapshot of my previous video of this here, this background, and put a radical blur on it so that way I can get it to look like a background. Because, um, there's something, there's someone similar who has done this right here. And I'm gonna put it on mute. So you can see the effect I'm talking about. Like for example, this guy right here, uh, Finita, Finita Gamers Paradise. He's doing something similar, except it's with uh, right here with the tile screen background, and he has his logo, the Sega Genesis. And the other thing too is he has something. What I kind of did with Skullgirls is having like the soundtrack here. The only thing I don't have going on is like the sound, like the waveform down here. And to show that real quick about what I'm talking about, and it's a good thing I have this muted and everything. So. And I don't know how many of you guys actually remember. Remember that I actually did this, and you know what? We're gonna do another video if it actually freaking loads. Oh, my internet, work with me, damn ya. Anyway, so, um. Yeah, there we go. So, I did something similar to what his was, except I just did with, like. Like a movie ticket, this and that, here, and you can see I kind of did, I saw it doing that until uh, we got into the character select screen for this here, and then that's when I said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and stop putting, you know, like the video and everything else right here. So again, I kind of do things a little bit different, it's probably than some other guys here probably, but again, this is just pretty much the basics of how... I make my stuff and if people really really want me to do one like from the scratch up and they actually want me to record it <laughs> I mean I will do that but again that would take a while because I like to make things look like the way I want them to look instead of trying to copy someone else even though I kind of already did that but you get what I mean so anyways guys here I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here um, like, comment, and subscribe if this was helpful, or just like a quick little overview of seeing what I do to make um, these videos. And again, the two softwares I use is going to be, like I said before. Oh wait, so I do have 17. Never mind. I thought I had 64 weird designs. I had to cut that there. But yeah, Movie Studios, um, Movie Studios Plat 17 Platinum. And again, the other one for the waveform, which I just use for basic stuff. It's going to be, again, Magix right here, and that's the website uh, right here. Magix uh, Music Visuals right here. And again, you can make a lot <laughs> with this here than what I'm doing. But for now, though, guys, I hope this gives you the insight, and I'll see you later. Farewell.